Ninety-five percent of Kentucky's inmates will eventually be released, and we're going to be talking this weekend to Secretary John Tilley of the Kentucky Justice and Public Safety Cabinet about some felon reentry efforts and the opioid addiction crisis and legislation that passed this past session to deal with both of those issues. So we hope that you'll tune in with us. And Secretary Tilley, welcome. We appreciate you joining us from over here in our little digs here in the yeah. state capital annex. Pretty, it's, pretty sweet, huh? Oh, it is. It's, <laughs> great, it's great to be here. Very nice. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time and all the efforts. Let's, we, we talk about so much during the interview. We talk a lot about opioid addiction and some measures that were passed this session. But I want to talk for just a couple of minutes about Senate Bill 120 that dealt with uh, felon reentry and why that's so important and what you say to critics who are concerned that Kentucky is softening its posture on crime and criminals. Well, again, this doesn't reduce any sentences. It doesn't cut at any crime. It simply recognizes the reality that you mentioned that 95 percent or more of all these offenders will be returning to a community. And it's important that when they return that we give them the best chance not to reoffend and commit more crime. And that's done with jobs, housing, and transportation. And this bill is an effort to double down on those three things and make certain that if we do that and cut recidivism, reoffense rates, you'll cut the prison population, you'll cut crime, you'll reduce the number of victims, you'll allow for greater restitution and, and aid to families. And you know, again, and again, that offender becomes more accountable for whatever has happened in his or her life. One thing we didn't talk about in the interview, but we can now, is the Justice to Journeyman program. Absolutely. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that to to give them these skills so that they can be employable. Well, it's it's it's, it's not often that I get to work with somebody who has as much passion for this as Secretary Derek Ramsey, and he and I worked on this, and it really comes from his passion to preload education and to to begin training someone behind the wall of a prison or jail. Uh, and again, in, in our juvenile justice facilities as well, mm -hmm. uh, at a particular skill, not just any skill, but a trade that will allow them to become a journeyman and be credentialed and licensed to do that, or they can work for a good wage all over the country and fill gaps in our workforce that are so critical uh, to be filled. And this is, again, this is a, 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 a small effort in the beginning, and we hope to expand it. We have seven pilot programs uh, that we hope to, to, to begin uh, uh, again, expanding on daily. And I think it will have a tremendous impact on recidivism. It will help Kentucky fill gaps in its workforce as well. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about other things, opioid addiction, and more about Senate Bill 120 coming up on Connections this weekend, Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2, Sunday at 1.30 on KET, the main channel. And you can watch online anytime after that at KET.org slash connections. I hope to see you.